Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Brookfield Board of Selectmen's meeting for Tuesday, October 18th. I ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. We'll start with a motion to approve the withholding warrants for 930, expense warrants for 1011, and payroll warrant for 1011. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Entertain a motion to acknowledge the minutes and monthly reports for the fire department for September, advisory board for 47, 411, 421, 427, 429, 54, 56, 511, and the conservation commission for fi uh, 621. 719 and 816. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Announcements. Pumpkin Fest 2016 will be held from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Saturday, October 22nd on the Brookfield Town Common. Please bring your carved pumpkins to be registered between 5.30 and 6.30 p.m. If your child is under age five, they may bring a painted pumpkin. No late entries will be judged, and judging begins promptly at 6.30 p.m. Winners will be announced at 7 p.m. Live music by Doolin Lads from 6 to 7 p.m. Cider and donuts will be available. Pumpkin Fest t-shirts will be for sale. For more information, please contact Ms. Lytle at 508-867-6705. Again, 508-867-6705. And new this year, Scarecrow Contest. Entries may be individual, family, or group. Prizes for scarecrows will be ribbons only and will be judged by those attending. A flu clinic will be held from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Monday, October 24th at the Town Hall. Mr. Wallinan, District Aide to Senator Ann Goby will be holding office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. Monday, October 24th. And the Recreation Committee is making an announcement that trick, and treat, trick or treat and Halloween events will be held Halloween night Monday, October 31st, trick-or-treat from 6 to 7 p.m. in the village and common area. We meet at the fire station for a parade on the common and we'll leave promptly at 7 p.m. Costume contest in gazebo upon arrival at the common. As always, candy donations are being accepted at the library and elementary school in an effort to help those who live in the trick-or-treat area. Any other announcements? Anybody wish to address the board this evening? Welcome, sir. Not bad, so. <clears throat> Good. We had a couple of the advisory boards that had some questions on the old police cruiser. I talked to the chief. He's going to keep it for an administration car, which no one had any problems with that. But when the car is no longer able to keep running, we want to, we want to know, if, you know, is that going to be another car we're going to replace? I was very surprised to see it on a detail. I stopped on the detail, asked the officer on the detail, and I was informed that it's going to be a vehicle to um, go to court. Administration. And to uh, be strictly used for details. Okay. Um, so what happens with, when with, that car goes? Is that with that car? surprise, I, I thought it was offline. Uh, I have no problem with it going to court and, uh, and details if it's not costing the town any more money. I think it's used wisely. Um, it's not an everyday back and forth like the chief used it, and I wouldn't be willing to put another penny into it if it if it breaks. Yeah. It dies, it dies. Yeah. Not, not to, re not to replace it. Yeah. Okay, that's what the advisor, that's what the numbers were. You know. yeah. They all think it's great if a kid keeps running and they can run the court with it and not tie yeah. a cruiser up, yeah. and, and it gives more life in the cruisers. Yeah. Right. Okay, that answers that then. All right. Um, animal control, when she left there, she. We bought a lot of inventory for the town, you know, different cages and different things, and we want to know where that inventory is. My discussion, I think it was with Karen, was that the new animal control officer was going to take possession of that. Have you had that discussion? I have not had that discussion. No, that's the first I heard. That's I thought I heard that. I don't know who I heard it was from. It from me? But I thought she was going to take possession. Makes, makes sense. Yeah, she should have possession. I can check into it. Can we, can we reach yeah, out? Yeah, let, let us know. Do, 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 do we know what the inventory is even over the years, of course? Do it through email uh, to yeah. both yes. Yes. Uh, individuals, yes. see what the um, inventory is in her possession, and then to transfer mm -hmm. and just keep us in the loop. Who, who is our new, is she out of town or? 
Sarah yeah. Perdue. Is she the one from Warren or where or something? She's from New Braintree. New Braintree, I thought. Somewhere around there, maybe Grimfield. It's she. It's close. Yeah. But it's not in town. So if we need to get a hold of her, does everybody know how to get a hold? We call the police department or what? We, her number, I have sent out emails with her number on it. Um, I believe it's also on the town website. She always, I've never had any complaints. Every time someone calls her, she answers back mm -hmm. very quickly. So so who do we call with, you know? Sarah Purdue and... Um, okay, but how do we get a hold of her? Well? Karen will get the number or email it to you. Yeah, well, it's, it's right on the town's website. I believe okay. it's oh, it's on, on the website, website If it hasn't been okay. posted, I'll make sure it is. She was supposed to have it posted okay. on there. So, so the bigger deal with that is dogs, and uh, Mike is making a list of the dog licenses for her and for the police station so that the stray dogs can be quickly taken care of. I, I, I called her a month or so ago about, because I walk every day, and there was a loose uh, dog on the street and it was a pit bull, so I called her up and the dog was tired the next day, I wasn't around. She's very good, I mean, she'll get right back to you. Good. Well, the last one was good too. Mm. Oh, Eileen was good, but I'm just yeah. letting you know this one's very good. Too. Where, where are the where are our dogs being kept if somebody loses a dog in town? Are they beach? when a dog is captured by her or any animal for that matter? That, where that, do they go? That's a question for her. Yeah. Okay. I know she's number? negotiating. She's um, talking to North Brookfield, seeing if they want to. Okay, it's Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. Also, she's going to put the water to Thank you. That's why I thought we had that discussion because we talked about about that about a month ago. Yeah, and I yeah, and that she was just waiting to hear back because North Brookville wasn't ready with an answer. Cause Cause we, what so ritualizing? Yeah. Because we were going to put it on the agenda, but you reached out to was it Leslie? Right. Yes, and mm -hmm. she said that they hadn't decided yet, and Sarah followed up, and they still hadn't decided. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I talked to her about a week and a half ago. So okay, and one other thing, I'll, when you get to chapter ninety, I'd like to be in the discussion, if I may. Do you want to do it now? Yeah, well, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. What would you like to discuss, Mr. Holcroft? Well, what, what, uh, well, the first two there, we have to take that money out of that 168, correct? So it's all coming out of Chapter 90 money. That's the request. Yeah. But I'm asking you if it's coming out of that 168 that we've been discussing, because there's not much left in the old Chapter 90. Yeah, it's within that fiscal year. Okay. This fiscal year. Yeah. With, I'm okay. saying that fiscal year for the with okay. for the request. Yeah. That it was, yeah. that it was spent. Yeah. Comes right out of there. These are just reimbursements. So for for discussion, we'll take um, item number two up now. Yep. Entertain a motion to um, approve Chapter 90 reimbursement request for eighty-seven thousand four hundred dollars. Actually attached the phone to document approved expenses totaling approved. Project request was approved. Reimbursement rate, okay, eighty-seven four hundred uh, for the River Street project. Entertain a motion to approve? I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Are you none all in favor? Aye. 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 Any other discussion, Mr. Holcraft? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, entertain a motion to approve sixty thousand dollars for the Weber Road. Project. I'll make the motion. Second. Discussion. Hearing none. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to approve the uh, thirty thousand dollar amount for a used catch basin cleaner truck. I will make that motion. Second. Discussion. Mr. Yeah, I have a discussion. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. The advisory board. You know, we don't. We had didn't have anybody in there to give us the real update on this basin truck. But the questions that did come up was at the town meeting, we approved ten thousand dollars for a used truck to get a used truck or to, to outfit the catch basin truck mm -hmm. for ten thousand. Now the get the Derrick, which is the clam that cleans the, the drain, that was quite out of chapter ninety money earlier. So that means there's ten thousand left, but now you we had the town allocated ten thousand for this truck, but now you're going to spend thirty thousand. No. No. Okay. No, well, that's what, what you're doing. Correct is, me on it. You're getting thirty thousand dollars in reimbursement. Yeah. You're, you're receiving money. You're not. Right, but it's coming out of the chapter ninety money. 
Right, but it's it's a reimbursement. It's okay. it's no it, it's, it's not, not town. Right. It's we not town. So my question is, we we talked on the phone that night, Mr. Holcraft. You called me from that meeting, and That's my right. my recommendation was to contact the highway department. Did you? No, because they were supposed to show up at our meeting. But you didn't reach out to them. No. Right. <coughs> but my question is, we allocated ten. The, the question we had is, we allocated ten thousand at a town meeting to to get this thing up and running. Mm -hmm. None of us were against that. Okay. What we were against was taking that 1980 uh, truck that they were going to turn into a catch basin truck, and we told. We told the highway department that that did not have the right proper wheelbase. You can't use that truck. And we were told earlier, if you remember, before we replaced that dump truck, that that truck we couldn't get patched for, and it leaked water, and it was junk. And then down the road, we were told that we're going to use that truck to do a catch basin truck. And we said 10000 is not going to be enough. And we told them about the wheelbase. And the wheelbase obviously is not big enough because you have to have a longer wheelbase for the derrick to reach out and put down onto the truck. So we're told we're being told one thing, and now we, now you're spending thirty thousand out of the chapter ninety money. The only thing that I have memory of is that I believe we discussed this back in December, and we approved the thirty thousand for the request, and that's how the state accepted it. And this is the final report that says you get the money. Um, the ten thousand. I think was to outfit. I don't think it was for the truck because the discussion you guys had was you had a problem with the truck itself that we had in stock. Well, the way the article read was to buy the catch basin or get a used truck for ten thousand. To buy the catch basin. Right, but we got the derrick and all the equipment separately out of Chapter Ninety money, which is fine. But then you went to the town meeting and you allocated another ten thousand into fleet stabilization. I don't remember where it came from. Mm -hmm. I think we, it, I we think approved ten thousand more. Is that where it went? I think it went to fleet stabilization. Yeah, because we put, yes, because we had put more than what we originally wanted to in there. Well, I think that article was strictly for that truck. But I think it didn't go to fleet stabilization. Do you have yes, a it copy? Did definitely yeah. went to fleet. That's where it went. Which we control. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do we just want to limit the thirty thousand out of chapter ninety and not allow them to touch the ten thousand? Yeah, that's the importance of the chapter 90 that, that you sent a report in that said this is what you wanted to do they approved it you're now so through discussion do we want to amend the motion to approve the thirty thousand dollar chapter 90 for the catch basin and not allow use of the ten thousand from fleet well i don't think the right people are in the room to have that conversation so do we want to table this huh? table that part of it to the well next do we want to table this but no that's no. money sitting in a bank yeah Let's they've go got to it. yeah they've got to get that so you okay with that course of action what, what, what are you going to do putting a hold on that ten thousand okay me. so basically why would we why would we go through all this coming? They came to the advisory board asking for 10000 to do this catch basin truck. We did that. But then they went and took separate monies out to buy the derrick and, you know, the, the, the claw and all that out of separate money. Now you're going to chapter 90 money to get a truck for 30000 Plus you get the 10000 allocated there. I believe that 10000 was for the body. I think yeah, that was the discussion. What, yeah, if I remember right, that's what, what it was for. Yeah. But, mm. I, well, that's not how I read, but that's okay. But what I'm saying is, so now we're up to we're up to forty thousand plus that derrick. So we're up to almost. which which you all need for a catch basin truck. I understand that. I'm talking about the figures now, mm -hmm. because it said ten thousand to get this truck up and running. Okay. So now obviously they must have been getting another truck. Am I correct? That's what this is saying. Okay, so they're not going to use that 1980 dump truck. That's what this is saying. Which we were opposed to begin with. But why would we go through all that trouble? Allocating ten thousand, and then we turn around and just take thirty thousand out of Chapter ninety. I don't know. This thirty thousand was earmarked almost a year ago for a truck. Yeah. The ten thousand was earmarked for a body, and it, all the pieces had to come together to make it all work. Right, and I believe that's still the case. Well, when, but when, you might when, be you might be able to get a truck with a body for thirty thousand. And again, the right people aren't in the room. Yeah. yeah. But, but that's but why I asked Dave or the committee members to reach out to Cindy and have that discussion. Mm -hmm. And since it has. Well, I thought someone was going to be here tonight. I asked Karen, I don't know if you asked them to come here tonight or not. 
Uh, no, I didn't get a chance. No, okay. well, we can get either a report or, or we can. But I don't think we could, should hold this up anymore because it's been held up. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not trying to hold up anything, but what I'm saying is we, no, we, we, hear, we, we get told one yeah. thing and we, then we do something completely we different hear, happens. Yeah. But I just, and we asked three times, is this going to be enough money? And can you, and we told them that truck was going to be no good. It's junk. It doesn't have the right wheelbase. And, and they said it was the right wheelbase and the truck was adequate. I remember the discussion. Okay, so now it's a complete reversal. This is this is what I'm trying to you know this is what I'm trying to convey to you guys. I don't I don't know why they would have even made that argument because they had already requested thirty thousand for a truck I half a year we, before. I thought they had identified based on the, the thirty thousand. Well, we what? had this discussion back in February of oh sixteen this year, which when was, they came which to was, do their budget. which was two months after this. Yeah. Right. So let's, let's get a report as to the status and go from there. So okay, so so now we're so we're dwindling down to the chapter ninety money, so we're not gonna have too much to put towards the bridge. This is these are appro approved projects that you've already solicited the monies. That's yeah. not the point of yeah, by us, by the town's right. Yeah. Okay. So so we're like, getting this this money back. I mean we're getting a reimbursement back. It's not no, Dave. Dave's argument is it's that not, this, the money. The town this, this this money is going to come off the top of what's already right. allocated. That's money that the and state the, gave us. The advisory the committee wants to put a large portion of that towards the bridge to compensate and offset taxes. Right. But we haven't gotten to that road yet. This this is this is what it is. Yeah, it is. We don't have numbers yet for the bridge. And we don't have an approval. For and we the don't. Bridge. Yeah, we don't even have the approval for the bridge yet, so we can't. So that's a whole other. Oh, I, I, understand, I understand that, but I'm trying to say that we have this money. That's I'm trying to say if we, you know, if we have this, this money, we want to use it, use it in the right areas. That's what I'm trying to say. But this is what we have before us is our reimbursements of projects that have already gone forward. Completed. Yeah. Completed. Yeah, they're all done. Oh, no, no. I, but I'm not questioning those two. Yeah, you're just questioning this. I'm and questioning the truck well, and what was brought before the townspeople. Now it's a complete reversal, is what I'm trying to tell you. Well, we Connors, are you like, hearing me? Well, we I'm, have, I'm hearing you, yeah. but I, again, I Are you hearing me? We, we need to have um, a representative okay. from the highway department here to discuss it. To understand where we are. So my, my recommendation is that your next meeting reach out to the highway department yourself. And request. Well, I mean, it's already well. That's the thirty for this. Not, yeah. Not the yeah. not the ten for the town meeting that everyone agreed on. Right. But we already did, we already beat that to, to death. It's still not beat. It's still not beat. Now, to death. now you're just you're taking another thirty thousand on top of the ten. Yeah. Well, let's have the discussion. If you can't have it with your committee, we can have it with our board. Oh, no, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll mm -hmm. get them in. Right. No okay. Now I get another thought. So we have a we have a motion on the floor. So no yep. further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now I got another thought. We're going to get more Chapter 90 money next year around April, May, right? And we're going to be probably, when are you going to start the new bridge? So we could probably. Oh, 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 don't, don't even go there. Okay, so don't what even. Yeah, well, I am going there. So, so the point would be you, are, you have a grant application, and, and, and again, we wanted to talk about this at some point this evening. You have grant, either grant monies that, are coming, up, for the bridge, that are coming right? up for bridge and other things. Right. And what you do not want to do is you don't want to get yourself out spending money, thinking about spending money in other directions. Because if you do, they'll, the grant people will know that you're going in that no, direction. No, no, I'm just, and, I'm just, and you just no, don't want to go. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying next year, if we don't get the grant. To, we'll talk about it then. We'll but I'm just giving, then. I'm just saying food for thought, food I'm, for I'm, thought I'm right good. now that next year, We'll have some more Chapter 90 money. If, if all these, I know what's going on behind, you know, with the grants, and if all these things fail, we can still possibly use the new, new, new batch of money that comes in. Cross our fingers, we don't have to use it for that. Okay, but I mean, you're going to go before the townspeople. But so that's so we can put it away. I, oh, nice. thank you, sir. How are you balancing this when you when, now you're talking? I'm talking about money, and so are you. How are you balancing this out when you go to this special town meeting? You're going to go there for money. We right? haven't even had we haven't had an article presented to us yet, Dave. So okay. we're stuck. Well, we can't. Well, I mean, when you when we have that special town meeting in November, are you going to have this? Part, we're going to have an answer from the grant people by then. No, oh, Abs no. absolutely Heavens not. No. Okay. Heavens right. no. Okay. No, it's going to be perfect. So we're going to, so we went to, so you, you're not going to want to talk about it in another direction till February. That that's Grant, but the bridge, the bridge that's in front of us right now, if if we do put an article on 
we, we have to have a special town meeting anyways to set the tax yep. rate. If we do discuss that, if there's an article for it, it's either coming out of stabilization, chapter 90, or raise an appropriate. Mm. But now Clarence just said we don't want to do any of those things because it might interfere no, no, with our no, no, grant. No, You're talking the, two, two, two. No, I'm two, two. talking the same as no, you. No, it's, it's for the temporary days. The, the, temporary. the temporary. We it's already temporary. allocated the money for the temporary. No, we didn't. No. Yeah, we have. We, we took All right, we're, we're, we're going in circles. Let's let's wait until the deadline, see what's before us, and then we'll go from there. We took thirty-five, half of the thirty-five thousand to, to get going on the temporary bridge. But that's what you have to vote when you know the real number. So let's let's get no, an article. We voted for the temporary bridge already. You just said we you just you just yeah, but that has to go. We we approve we approve money spending for that, correct? Right. Correct. Yes. yes. That's right. Yes. And you just said you didn't. That was a temporary, not the fix. You're talking the fix for the new bridge. Right. So we're not there yet. We haven't crossed that bridge yet. Okay. So, so let's 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 wait let's wait for two weeks. See where we're at with articles. And then, and we'll so if okay, all right. But so so what Clarence is saying is we if we talk about something, then we might jeopardize our grant. The new bridge money. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And that's I'm what not I talking about the temporary. Okay, temporary has already been resolved. We got money for that. You guys already voted for all the right. money. So I'm done with I'm done with okay. this conversation. Okay. Two weeks from now. Okay. Anything else? Um, no, that's good for the moment. All right. Thank all you, right, sir. Good. Anybody else wish to address the board this evening? Hearing none, item one, special use permits. Entertain a motion to approve the use of Quaybog Pond by the Brookfield Lions Club Saturday, January 28th, 2017, 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Oh, no, start time 7 a.m., end time 5 p.m. Uh, for ice fishing derby. I'll make that motion. Do have a sec? Any discussion? 100 participants, 25 vehicles, uh, ATV, snowmobiles, and 50. It says it's going to be a bad winter, too, huh? Aye. All in favor, aye. 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 They say it's going to be bad. Time? It's going to be cold. Oh, yeah, 45. Entertain a motion. We have a new application permit. Uh, it's a new electronic way that they're, that they're applying now. And there's really no place if you see for you to sign your name. I have to approve it online. But just so we'll have a paper copy, I thought it would be good if you just okay. sign So uh, the happy hookers are looking ahead. <laughs> Love that name. Uh, for June 3rd, 2017, South Pond, Brookfield, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. start. 1400 hours return time, so two o'clock. Number of vehicles seven. Entertain a motion to allow. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 American Bass Anglers, District 36, Quaybog Pond, August 5th, 2017. Uh, conditions please pick up. All litter and trash after the event. Thank you. 5.30, start time 7. 1,500 return time. 16 vehicles, 16 boats. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Item number three. Signing of the presidential... Election warrant. Entertain a motion to uh, sign the Commonwealth of Massachusetts William Francis Galvin, Secretary of the Commonwealth's election uh, for our questions, ballot questions, and that's it, right? But that's just for ballot questions. So we have four ballot questions, that's it. No, he's got to have the rest of it. I don't see anything else in here. Oh, we can all well, we should sign oh, no, it okay. You're right. Like Elections for oh. president, representative, counselor, senate, representative, Great sheriff. Boingo, boingo. Nice condensed. Entertain a motion to sign. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Okay. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 What would we do without these little post it? 3M has made a million, huh?
Item number four, signing a cemetery deed. I will entertain a motion to sign deed to write a burial for Mr. Smith, 42 North Brookfield Road, for lot number 34. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number five, signing of the Finney Access Agreement. I am ignorant of this. I don't know if yep. you know anything about this, Mr. Snyder. I know some of it. Um, so that uh, we're working with CMRPC to help us guide our way through mass redevelopment of, mm -hmm. of properties. Um, and as a part of this, the, the uh, town can help guide the Finneys through that process. And this allows us to be on the site. Um, and. The, the contractor to be on the site as well uh, to do the final uh, understanding of what needs to be done to do the final. We, we have those. We have phase one and a phase two. We ha Yes, but now we need to redo what needs to be done because there is very much confusion as to what final kinds of things need to be done. We have an estimate of $40,000 and we have another estimate that says between three and $400,000. For cleanup or? For the remainder of the cleanup, yes. So there is dispute as to what needs to get And done. is signing this going to put the town of Brookfield nope. we, fi financially? No, no. This is, what this is doing is helping us guide uh, mass redevelopment to help them uh, so that we can understand what final numbers are available. And then with that, uh, the, the uh, mass redevelopment one would then do the final cleanup and then uh, they look to redevelop or sell it, mm -hmm. and any monies uh, recouped from the sale, understanding that there are liens as well, would come back uh, to that mass redevelopment. So the mass redevelopment is going to pay back taxes? You end up being on a pecking order of what monies finally come up. They're not looking for, their, they understand they're not going to be reimbursed 100%. For their cleanup. For their cleanup. Again, Which, mass redevelopment's looking to clean up properties and, and get properties back in the tax rolls. And so that the, you can write four grants to be able to do that, and this is the first step in that process. I have a hard time spending taxpayers' money to clean up private property, which this is the road, this is the road yeah, we're this going is, down. This is mass redevelopment. But this is the road we're going oh, down. Yeah. Well, it's, it's Massachusetts's money to clean up the kinds of things that we have here. So I, I've been in discussion for the past month with two gentlemen that are very interested in this property. Great. I don't, I've, I've been having a hard time justifying an executive session for the discussion. I think this should be open. Oh, absolutely. Um, this is probably a good time. What is the stance of the board to I'm searching for a word. What, what word do we use for uh, writing off taxes? What's the word that we use? I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I understand yeah. what you're saying, too. I is, can't Is it the Board of Selectmen's call? Is it the would, state's? That would, be the ta that would, I think, would be the town before the, anything. Yeah, you know, I think that the has to go before the town. I would say with the numbers mm -hmm. of dollars that you're talking about. So it would have to go to a town meeting? Yeah, I think so. And again, quite honestly, Steve, you'd want to. I, I'm, I'm not opposed to mm -hmm. it. I, I think it's in the best interest to put it back into private hands. Exactly. Let them develop it. Absolutely. Let them get it back on the tax roll. Yeah, and, and like I said, this is the first step where a mass redevelopment would come up, come in because they've got the deep pockets. Again, no, it's state money for sure. But it's coming. It's coming back on us. But I would be, and, and I have no vested interest in this this project whatsoever. These two individuals, I actually approach them because I know that they deal with a lot of dirty dirt. Um, and that's the only reason why they're interested in it, because they can get rid of the dirty dirt. Yeah, well, and the, and the issue here, and what, what makes this good, is you'll understand what that real cleanup is. Is it the 40000 that one person said, or is it the three or four? Well, that's where I'm at, because they know the numbers. They, yeah. they know, they've, they've seen 
what the rating for the dirt is, the contamination. Oh, okay. right. They know what it's going to cost them to get rid of it. They know mm -hmm. what it's going to cost. They're worried about the back taxes. They're worried about the lien from the state. Mm -hmm. And they're worried from the liability from the abutting property. I, I, quite honestly, if I were them, I'd take advantage of this iteration. So it's something that if they are interested, we might even want to place an article on the special town meeting to see if the town would be willing to taxes. Which is a good word. I was going to use relieve. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm not, if it's not going to cost the town anything right now, yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm no, okay with it. But, but I've, I've, had, I've wanted to have this discussion mm -hmm. because I've been talking to them for the past three or four weeks. Well, good. I, like I say, Steve, if I were a business, yeah. prudent businessman, having this done in, ahead of me and understanding truly what it is. No but that's that's it. where I'm guiding them yeah. with the phase one and the phase two because those have been done. We've we've had the presentation. Yeah, the one, but what happened with the phase one and phase two is you ended up with two reports at the end of the phase two that are very disparate. And in fact, one of the reports we can't even the DEP couldn't even find the other day. So again, what this does is this helps bring all of that information out. Right, so I'll entertain a motion to allow the chair to sign. Um, make a motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, and Mrs. Finney is well aware of this. I see oh, yeah. that she's, yeah, she's already signed. Yeah. Okay. All right, item number five. I received a call from a resident. Mr. Simpson, welcome. Town Hall Renovations. <coughs> we had the discussion two weeks ago, and we were working on a potential uh, non binding referendum on the special town meeting in regards to this. I was all kind of doom and gloom after our meeting two weeks ago that we weren't going to do anything in here. You had a different take on that meeting which you were at, so the floor is yours, sir. Um, <clears throat> well, I guess I'll just start off by saying that now that the police station is, we're still got a couple odds and ends as the last couple bills trickle in, but we're pretty much done with that. So I've decided that I'm ready to be fully engaged with the you know repairs or the projects ongoing with the town hall, and I've been designated as the project coordinator for pursuing the grants, um, but I haven't been really involved with the $50,000 that have been allocated at this point um, for the bathroom work. Um, but I did sit in on the meeting with Paul Holtz, with Paul Holtz and the Mesa Mass Historic. Um, so I'm, I'm starting to get my feet under me in terms of wh where things are and where they're going. Um, but I'd like to be fully involved in, involved in the bathroom project. So. Well, as we discussed point. last week, the bathroom project's pretty much on hold, if not completely stopped, based on a discussion. With what they'd approve. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, how we're gonna that's, that's why I'd like to be involved in the process. So we, I, I understand where well, Mass it, Historic is coming from, and I understand where the, what the money's allocated for, and I think we can move it forward. I just... Well, we I, obviously can, yeah. but I don't think it'd be prudent on the town's dime, too. But shouldn't we renovate the so, bathroom that we already have? Well, that's not what we have so, the money allocated for. We, we've, we've taken two bites at one apple. We did it originally over a year ago. We came back again at the, at the annual town meeting, and we just we wanted transparency. Originally, it was going to be something different, renovating the, the existing bathroom. Yeah. Then we wanted to do the assessors, and now we're being told that we can't change the footprint down here. So to me, it's just kind of a waste of money. I don't think there's any reason we couldn't use the assessor's space. Um, yeah. yeah, and again, it was just that the, the point was that the drawing that we have for the, I'll call it mega bathrooms for men and women, mm -hmm. part, part of it coming into this space, what they were opposed to, and again, Bill was there, is coming into this space and carving up the space. But taking the assessors out of there for a bathroom relocates them and chops up the kitchen. Which is reason I think the concern is it was Patsu's coffee. That was <laughs> he wanted an iced coffee. Um, yeah, the concern was that this is sort of the historic meeting space until we have access to the Great Hall and have used up the rest of the avail available space in the building. We so have no need to. My, it doesn't make my sense argument, to them to. My to argument after our space. discussion two weeks ago, yeah. and I'm always changing my mind, I'm not opposed to it, yeah. is to just make our current bathroom handicap accessible, move forward with what we have going on upstairs. I think the huge thing is that elevator. Once we get an elevator in the building, then all doors open up for us. 
and and quite honestly, where Bill was headed was with the CBGD stuff. Yeah, because yeah, again, this that, brought me back into all this is that I'm that, trying to look at the long-term grant applications for the elevator. And so that CBDG is a whole bunch of money. What Mass Historic would be would be a little bit of money that could, in fact, go towards some access, but not all. And so you've got to do some 50-50 uh, match or 30-50 match. Well, I'm, I'm looking at Mass Historic saying don't carve this space up. Yeah. And that's Until you're ready. We and that's that's it. what we have plans for. Yep. That's what Bill worked towards getting those plans that we all liked, we all accepted. Well, they don't object to the plans necessarily. They object to the time, the, the, time, the order of operations. Yeah. Which, if, which because, back back to the discussion is that elevator and the accessibility to the second floor is. Exactly. But we, I don't think there's any objection from Mass Historic to using the assessor's office to putting no. a new bathroom no. into that space. Because that's that's, that's not they, cutting up this this whole. They didn't want all anything all. done. They, yeah. they didn't want anything done. At the, out here until we were up there. I, I quite honestly, I'd be opposed to displacing the assessors and putting a bathroom in there before we have upstairs. We've already tried a couple times with the town. Well, I, I, I believe that at the town meeting that there was the vote to put in a new bathroom, and that that's where we shifted the funds from renovating okay. the old to putting in the new. And I'm not opposed to reshifting and having a different question based on the discussion you guys had a couple weeks ago. Well. And I'm not opposed to renovating this town hall. I'm, I, when I was elected six years ago, my passion was the police station and the town hall. Yeah. I'm all for it. I'm not put up, but th there has to be some sense of responsibility that if the town's not going to go for upstairs, doing this is just a waste of money. And it displaces the assessors, yes. and then we have to spend more money over there. Well, having, having a, a new functional bathroom would be, I think, in everybody's best interest. But I, I think we have to move that's, that's, forward that's, with the with the grant process, and if we want to yeah. renovate the, the existing well, I, bathroom, I, 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 that's common ground as far yeah. as how to get upstairs, and, and really it's the CBDG money yeah. coupled with potentially MHC money. But I think okay. we we still need to take care of the access. But with immediately. the CGB oh, money, oh the the access, yes. I, I but with the gears shifting, I think we need to go back into the existing bathroom and make that accessible. I. That's one option. Um, Again, we try. We need to try to get to February to be able to get a to get a, a yeah. gauge. But I think we're putting the cart before the horse. I, doing anything down here before we get upstairs. I, I think that there is room to use the money that we've allocated, and I would like to be involved in finding a way to get the uh, right. the, the accessibility and either renovating that bathroom or putting in a new bathroom. And I, I, I'd like to be more involved, in, I'm choosing to be more involved in that process as best as I can. So what, I think, what can I do? I think right now is money to get an elevator to get accessibility up to the second floor. So what do we, well, I, I, back to the original 50,000, getting the access, getting the doors and getting that stuff done. That helps the grant process. That helps. Yeah. Yeah. But just, just allocating the money helps it. True, but it, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be done. Just have it in their eyes. Seeing a town vote with money allocated oh. for a project yep. helps that grant. And what I'm saying is, you have the opportunity because you know you have access issues to, by spending a little bit of that money towards the access issues. And again, I'm not talking mm. about them. It gets to say that you're on. You're on a path. You're doing yeah. something. Yeah, I, th I think any any signs of forward progress that we can show them is an what encouraging thing. Not yeah. only the grant, but the state as well. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, that's the reason why that's sort of the, and the he's, number he's, one. And he's, he's smart enough and educated enough and I keep searching for words, friendly enough, I guess, to understand that it's a work in progress. It's nothing that we're trying to really drag our feet on. We're just trying to do it right. And doing it right, I think, allows us to get upstairs first or to have a path towards it, well, and it all hinges on money. Well, my understanding right now is that the select board is ultimately responsible for the $50,000 in the expenditure of that fund. Okay. Um, I would like to be involved in that process. How can I engage in that so that we can, I can help work with that process to, to uh, line things up? Right now, I'm, I'm pretty dead set against doing anything with that 50000 not even the access yeah. that we've identified? We, yeah, we have to. You, we talked. I thought we were going to do something with the door. We had discussed that. The handicap door? We have to yeah. do something. We can. We have I mean, to do But we're, this discussion here was the bathroom. Oh, no. We're, 
That's a part of it. It's a part of it. That's a part of it. I mean, we can delay the bathroom for sure. I, I can reach out to Tantasco tomorrow and see where they're at. I had a oh, conversation with him, Mr. Morrow, about a month ago. I went down to the shop. So would the select board like to, because my, my, I guess the, the long-term way I'd like to look at this is if we have a group of people, whether I'm, I'm sort of the project coordinator, I guess, as per designation, but, but I'd like to have a, a team of people that can hold this thing from beginning to the, you know, from dealing with this 50,000 so we can tie it in so that we're working all on the same page to get the, whatever is happening with 50,000 has to be very clear and Oh, it, it is yeah, very, right. it's yeah. very clear. It's thresholds, it's a door, and it's a bathroom. But nothing has happened because in a year and a half. Because, Mr. Wall, it, it's been since uh, June when we reallocated the money for the assessor's office. And Mr. Holcraft, months ago, sat in that same seat and asked us to reach out to the state because he thought that there was an issue, and he was correct. You guys met about a month ago. Yep. Unfortunately, it moved slowly, and he was correct that there is an issue. So, are you, is this board going to take, I mean, I, what can I do? <laughs> is this, or how Maybe. can I help this process? I want to get, get I'm, money, get money okay. to get upstairs. Well, I, I can do that, but I, I also want to see things happening or, or have clarity as to what's <laughs> going on with the $50,000. As I'm one of three, I, I highly recommend holding off on a bathroom until we know our path. Unless we want to just renovate, we'd have to go back to the town, renovate the new, the existing bathroom. <laughs> But the town's allocated to fix thresholds and yeah. Well, that's where I'm. I'm let's get the access. And I, I can pull I think the trigger. I done. can pull the trigger on that. And like, I feel that we should also talk about renovating the bathroom we have now. But that's a discussion we to have bring, to bring to the town yeah, we as well. We have to bring it up because it's got to be renovated so it's handicap accessible. But that's again putting the cart before the horse because if Mr. Simpson has a timeline for grants to get upstairs, that could change everything. I don't think it really yeah. changes anything. I, I believe it does, because it gets us to a plan of what we do downstairs. Well, the long-term plan is not necessarily going to change, but what we can do now... Well, it could change, because it's already come before the town several times, and they've basically said they don't want to go upstairs. And if they but, don't allocate money to do that, then but we putting any money down here is a waste. But we won't have enough money, though, to, you know, to fix the door and to renovate the bathroom with that 50000 because we were going to do that before if we I, put in new ones. I gave you a spreadsheet for all of it that could be done. Yeah. But it hinges on Tantasco, just like the fire roof. When it was presented for 50000 we got it done for eight. So, so, so I guess where we are is you're going to charge with Tantasco to get the access stuff going. I can get going on that. Yep. But and we put them on hold for so long, I don't know when we'll get into this well, schedule. But but it's important that we yep. start working yeah, on that. So I'll, I'll talk to them about the door and the threshold. Right. And then on the flip side, that Bill can be in parallel with that understanding where mm -hmm. that's going. And with that, start understanding how, because I, what I would like to do is we had a discussion with Mass Historical. Bill's role with Mass Historical is as the local project coordinator, which would be for the next grant phase. And you'd then tie that to CBDG mm -hmm. and exactly. pull, those, the, pull that strategy together and move that forward. Yeah. Because then that says you'd have the 800,000, again, uh, speaking in rough terms, it's 888,000, so $900,000 gets you an elevator to get upstairs. That's the next phase of the project. So we would be asking for that kind of money we wouldn't be asking, well, we would be asking for roughly 50% of that well, the, through the town. Well, for the, for the CDBG, there's no yeah. match required. The, okay, so then it would so, only be the mass historical match. And that can be matched with CDBG funds. So maybe there's no... We, we may not be going to the town for any money in the near future. The, the first goal that's, is to that's choose huge. CDBG to get the but design with, documents and bid documents in place in the next grant cycle. But with CBG grant, that money, don't we have to apply with, the, uh, with Warren because... For one that we had just received, you have to apply with Warren in another town. It's not necessarily Warren specifically, but yeah, yeah the, the, I mean, the group applications applied, are yeah. more favorable depending on the conditions. But, it, but will we get that much money? Because usually they'll set down, you know, a certain amount. The the first phase that we would be looking for is just the bid documents. It'd be a design mm -hmm. phase grant. Okay. So we'd be looking to get that. That's a much smaller pot. It's, I think it's a hundred thousand or, or even less. Okay. And once we have the bid documents in place, we'd wait till the next cycle, and then we would apply for the larger pot to get the elevator in place. So it's it's a three or four year 
grant so to, to a grant site. So the grant that we got for the documents that we have now that that's just for information only. No, that's that's the basically the, the feasibility study yeah. part of it. They call it a planning grant. Yeah, the, that was a planning grant. That was a mass historic planning grant that that funded that in, in collaboration with the town. And then that gave us the phase 1.1, the accessibility, the things that we had to do. And we allocated the $50,000 for the bathroom and the accessibility. And now we'll be pursuing the phase one, or phase two, basically, which is the design documents for the elevator and the elevator. Is a friend still in existence? Yep. Are they collecting, raising? Uh, we don't have a, the friends of the town hall are in existence, but there, there's no project to target money at at this time. But there's some funds available for if there's any small needs that the town hall has. So I guess putting on my friends at the town hall hat, if any small projects come up at the town hall that need support or funding, mm -hmm. please seek me out as for the friends of the town hall because there's some funds available. Um, but uh, that's a different subject. But um, yes, but so with your approval, I'm going to continue pursuing the CDBG grant. Oh, 100%. Yeah, and, and try to get the elevator into for as little cost to the town as possible. Um, and it ideally it'd be almost no cost to the town. And that's yeah. that's huge right there. But it'll be that, that it's not it's up. not a quick process. It's no, going to be yeah. but, it, but it, 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 it opens up a, a lot of doors. Yeah. So and so it sounds like that's where I'll keep pushing on that but and we'll just keep me in, in the loop as things prog progress with the town with the accessibility and um, just so we're on the same page when I start putting grant applications together. And um, then once once we undertake the access and doors then we have to have another discussion about the bathrooms which makes sense yep. first thing is the accessibility Let's that has get, to be at least get that done yeah all right so i'm good thank you very much thank you, thank you. Thank you. there is no other correspondence oh, so, yeah I, I did that because we were talking more articles and the like for the special uh, there's an interest to bring Article 37, which was the uh, uh, abandoned, car, abandoned cars in the back of the Tokyo Motors. Is this through who? This is uh, the roll. Yep, Mr. Blaze. Mr. Blaze okay. wants to bring it back because it was tabled. That Do we need some special dispensation to get it back? Um, if I remember right, Sharon, were you going to talk to Mr. Blaze about the... Planning board has not heard from Mr. Blaze. Oh, they have, because I remember no. you stating that you would help him. Not to us either that he plans to bring anything before us, never mind the town. Okay. Yeah, no, it was just Because I remember you, know. you offered to sit down and help him out with it. He's welcome to come to any open meeting or okay. call or to write and ask to be put on the agenda. Okay. He has and to I, 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 I told that, him the right. same exact thing about Perfect. two months ago All right. mm -hmm. on a and Wednesday night in the town hall. Okay. And, and again, it's, it's a citizen's petition. It's yeah. not put right. forth by the town. It, no, it, and again, because it was tabled, I just want, I wanted to understand the dynamics. Okay. That's all. Mm -hmm. But I think the conversation with Sharon is more important. Yeah. And he's been advised several times to have that. I'll, I will re advise. Mm -hmm. Anything else for other? Nope. All right, we have um, correspondence from KP Law that uh, the <coughs> deeds have been filed uh, for the original grant of easement from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Um, Commissioner of the Divisions of Capital Assets Management and Maintenance, Fish and Game, uh, for the Quaybog River Bridge Project, and the uh, quit claim for the uh, Department of Fish and Games for the landing. So that's all filed. That's old. Any other issues before the board this evening? Would you like to discuss anything with the board, or? I yes. Then behind you. Did you want to go first, sir, or them first? Conservation. They're with you. Oh, they're with you. Okay, so oh, okay. you have no business with us. But you're more than welcome to. Good luck with the conservation. Um, so I am going to entertain a motion to enter into executive session number three. Uh, actually, number one first, um, to discuss the reputation, character, physical condition, and mental health rather than professional competence of an individual or discuss a discipline or dismissal of or complaints or charges against a public officer, employee, staff member, or individual. And um, 
Once that's adjourned, to enter into um, number three to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining and litigating position of the public body and the chair so declares. And then to re enter into open session for the sole purpose of adjournment. Do I have said motion? I will make that motion. Second. Come to our eye. Lake and I. Saturday. Meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.